Let's explore some concepts associated with sound and harmonics. I'm looking at the spectrogram display here. And those are two sinusoids that are one octave apart. When you play them simultaneously, you can hear them, but they sound like the same note, essentially. And that's with one additional octave inserted. Let's try some sinusoids that are orient or that are positioned at integer multiples of the fundamental. Let's try that with a lower starting pitch. As you listen to the entire note, especially if you don't hear the transient at the beginning, you can pretty much convince yourself that, that's, that the harmonics have fused together into a single tone. Now let's try something that uh, would be what we call harmonious combinations. These are just some simple chords that are being played. Now let's try some combinations that would be called dissonant or inharmonious. So the uh, key characteristic of dissonance is this notion of roughness or beating. If we look at the waveform in detail, we in fact see this uh, amplitude undulation that exists and it, this is essentially uh, an interference uh, sort of effect when we play two frequencies that are very close to each other. So again, as I say, it's like interference. So we have constructive and uh, de destructive interference happening when we have our pitches spaced very close to each other. Now, dissonance is um, not always bad. For example, if we listen to that initial one again, well, that actually adds some sort of a tone or color to chords. So again, listen to that. When it's included as the entire chord, it actually adds some interesting character to the sound. Now, uh, so far I've just been looking at sinusoids. A sawtooth wave essentially adds a bunch of harmonics all at once, and that's a square wave right there. As we consider the spectrum, you see that we have many harmonics available, giving uh, more richness to the sound compared to the pure tone of the sinusoid. So anything that deviates from a perfect sinusoid will have additional harmonics. And the more sort of squared off or, or square-like the, the uh, waveform, the more harmonics you'll have. Well, I have some examples from my synthesizer. I'm always playing the same note for all of these, and you can um, kind of discern different instruments simply by the, the pattern of harmonics that they have and their relative strengths. something that had a lot of harmonics. When you have no harmonic pattern, we perceive the result to be noise or some other sort of sound. But we do not perceive this to have any particular pitch associated with it. So our perception of a specific pitch is dependent on the harmonics 
or the overtones of the uh, sound to be at more or less integer multiples of our fundamental frequency.